Hey there, here are my travel tips for a long flight to another country. These tips will help you on a long flight even to Hawaii. Some of these tips will help you inside the airplane. I will also share some tips to help keep your valuables safe in the plane as well as in another country. Let me know if you get to fly internationally soon. I am a Houston pilot wife and here on YouTube and Instagram, I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. Click the bell beside subscribe so you'll never miss one of my free videos. Rip Skirt Hawaii is sponsoring this video because of how versatile their skirts are for travel, especially in other countries. In my opinion, a long flight is anytime you are in the airplane for over five hours. Yes. Do not forget to pack this phone prop for a long flight. It is flat so that you can pack it easily in your personal item bag, but it sits up on the tray table very sturdily. <laughs> and it will also hold tablets. We do not travel with a passport booklet because they're bulky and you don't really need access to your passport that often. I would just keep your passport in a belt around your waist as well or in the hotel room safe. Some of you have asked me how to keep your valuables safe during a long flight. The first way that I would think of is by wearing a belt. You have seen this band in a couple of my videos. You can wear a band like that for when you're sleeping and you don't wanna worry about your valuables going missing. This is usually for exercise, but I'm going to use it for travel and keeping my passport and other valuables safe in the airplane as well as in another country. You can fit your passport in here easily with much more space. There are two very long and wide pockets and then there's also a zippered pocket. You put this band on like you would a pair of shorts and it does fit quite snugly. It holds you in. The medium fits me fine and I'm a size 10 on a good day. My husband, when we're in a different country, travels with a front pocket wallet, but he also wears the really ugly belt around his waist under his shorts. If we're on the subway train, he'll just keep his hand in that front pocket around the wallet. A crossbody bag with slash proof straps, as well as the RFID component, is essential for traveling to another country. I bought the striped crossbody bag, but it's more like a purse. It's a little thick than what I would like for international travel. This may sound picky, but the mesh on the back of the crossbody bag is not thick and padded. It's just soft. Here's a tip. If you're traveling internationally during the winter, it is much easier to wear a thin crossbody bag like this versus a purse as well, because it's easy to get to underneath that coat. And the pockets do go all the way to the bottom and all the way across the crossbody bag. You can also find a regular belt that has a hidden pocket for maybe some cash or chapstick. Another essential to keep your valuables safe is a tank top with hidden pockets. This is a size medium and I'm a size 10, like I said. The pockets are so large for a passport and much more than a passport. It's about eight inches high at its highest part of the pocket. And then, like I said, it's plenty wide enough. I also have a hidden pocket inside a scarf. This one's not available anymore, but it is large enough for your passport and a wallet. I have a thin RFID wallet. Many of you have seen it. It has about six pockets for whatever you need. I love these fall colors in this scarf, but be sure you check out the zipper. I do not want the zipper to be a contrasting color from the scarf fabric or everyone's gonna know that you've got something hidden in there. That they want. Another travel tip for a long flight is to pack Tylenol for the dry air in the airplane as well as not getting adequate sleep because of the time changes in another country. Another essential for the airplane is this neck pillow only. This is the only one I will travel with and I only travel with it to another country. There are very strong velcro straps that would attach to the headrest behind your head. Therefore, your head will not fall forward. It even has a little zippered pocket if you need to put a valuable in it for your flight. I have a long neck, so if you are a very short person, this may not work for you. I also love this eye mask because it does not ruin the back of your hair because of the ear pieces. They are adjustable and it doesn't mess up your hair. You also receive a free pair of earplugs by Honeywell, so that makes me think that the quality is very good. If you have circulation issues during a long flight, I have three options for you. 
there is this foot swing and it does not shake the person's chair in front of you. You will just hang this strap that is adjustable over your tray table bars and then your feet can swing thus keeping your leg bent and that's going to help the circulation keep moving. I would not put this on your tray table bars until after the plane has taken off otherwise the flight attendants may see you and make you take it off because of having a clear aisle for takeoff and landing. You'll see that it is bulky but it is very lightweight. I usually wear my compression leggings on a long haul flight to another country. They're by Zella. As employees flying standby, you know we have a dress code and sometimes we will get first class if we're flying internationally. So that's where I want to wear my compression leggings, but also look nice and then be able to wear that sometime during my trip. You never wear your outfits only once, remember. And that's why I reached out to Rip Skirt because those skirts can go all the way around my waist in four different lengths for when I'm in the airplane, if I can lay down. They're very discreet, but very practical. They are full, complete wrap skirt. See how far around it's wrapped? After a long haul flight, I can take off those leggings and wear my skirt around the city. I can go hiking or wear tennis shoes with these skirts and then wear them to a pub at night even. The tricky part for me is knowing what size to get, but they walk you through how to get your size, but there are long pieces of Velcro that make your skirt very adjustable if you are in between sizes or if you've had one too many croissants or baklava. I forgot to mention one other thing. If you were touring in a different country, a museum or a certain church, they do make links long enough for you in their skirts. I don't know if I said this, but I'm a size 10 and the large was plenty big enough for me. I have found excellent compression socks. They're by Dr. Scholl's. The reason I like these is they're not too thick. I have been burned by several drugstore brand compression socks. These are complete compression socks and they work great if you are wearing black denim and you want to wear those socks around the city while you're walking all day for many hours as well as into a restaurant and in the airplane. I bought these roll up little slippers for the hotel room in different countries, but I also can use them in the airplane just if you want to relax for all those hours, but I would not definitely not wear them in the lavatory. The sole is too thin for all the bodily fluids that might be in the lavatory. And they have this little travel case for them too. I have found the most perfect ever no-show sock. They do not cover the top of your foot, so be careful if you need that for like laced shoes, but these are truly, if you have or need, no show. There's something magical about the band that goes around the top of it, but they also have that sticky part. I'll link them below. They're 3048 is the brand name. If you need a winter coat for travel, this is now my favorite one because of several reasons. You can unzip the hood and the bib, making it more of like a North Face jacket look. The main reason that I bought this jacket was for international travel because of these shoulder straps. You can wear it like a backpack and not have to be wearing it or tying it and it would fit around a backpack if you were wearing one. Being in the train station or in the subway where the air is very stagnant, this would help. I'm 5'8", and finding sleeves that are truly long enough for me has taken two years. And they even have the little thumb things. If you like that, I could care less, but um, it's a great little feature. If you need some tips for how to pack a carry-on bag, I will link those videos below in the description box. One thing I bought for my mom is a travel hair dryer for her trip to Israel. This one is high quality. You can tell by the sound. I tried it out at her house. It does not make that cheap hair dryer sound and it folds up very compactly. We finally bought a new adapter for international travel. I use this one because of two reasons. One, it packs flat and you just add whatever plug that you need for the country you're visiting. And then also another reason is this is compatible to the US hair dryers and curling irons. So you can travel and not have to worry about whatever you call it when you blow a fuse or something like that. And then it gives you these little things down at the bottom for your uh, chargers. They give you a little bag to store all of the other prongs. If you want a video about how I store all of my travel gear in between trips, let me know in the comments below. 
For international trips, pack shoes that can get wet, but are comfortable. These are true to size, they're waterproof, and they have a low heel. I am a shoe snob when it comes to support and arch support. These I could wear all day. I can wear through gravel, through rain. I follow the YouTuber who is from America named Love and London, and she suggests wearing black denim to restaurants in London because you still look nice, but you've got on just jeans that you can wear during the day. My main travel tip for packing is to only pack two other pairs of shoes and then wear a pair on the airplane. Compression cubes make more space in your suitcase if you need to fit it in. I bought this six piece set from the Tripped brand because they give you two large packing cubes in one set. One zipper closes the cube and then the second zipper compresses the air from between your outfits. They also make a two piece set that is for checked luggage. The one feature I like about this set is that they have an extra pocket on the back for your laundry. Some of you have asked me, what do you do with your dirty laundry? You can use that set in their compression cubes, but you can also just use a gallon baggie that you've packed flat and then you're gonna use it for your laundry, or you can just pack an extra packing cube or compression cube and then fill it up with your dirty clothes as you're going along your long trip. This set of compression cubes is technically for checked luggage, but you can also fit it with some other ones in carry-on bags. For your hotel security, I did buy the lock for the door of your hotel room or your Airbnb, wherever you're staying. It doesn't damage the door or wall at all. And then if someone has the key, it still will not let them get in the door but it is very heavy to me, so that's something to consider. If you're traveling alone, that's an option for you, but you can also just pack a little rubber doorstop. If you do not want to wear socks, you can also pack these cheap little insoles and then just trash them after your vacation. Since we have to wear masks in a lot of places still, I have this travel case that I'm packing. The reason I have this one is because this little flap is very sturdy according to all the reviews and my practice with using them. I travel with Peeps and these are eyeglass cleaners. They're easy to pack for me, but you can also just travel with a few lens wipes and that would be for your phone as well as for your glasses. And we only recommend the iCloth brand. Since businesses might be short staffed, you might not have soap in a bathroom. These are soap sheets. So you just pull one out and put it under the water and it suds up enough for your hands to be washed. Each little travel case comes with about 30 pieces. When I travel internationally, I pack a lot of solid colors. These are all from Talbot's. I'm a size 10. The medium is perfection. They go great under cardigans. They go great with these skirts. Rip Skirt also makes three quarter length sleeve tops that are not clingy. I like to pack thin layers, so this is another option for you. I will link a few other travel tip videos for you down below in the description box. And here's how you get to it. You get there by clicking the upside down triangle or the words show more, depending on what device you're watching me on. You can share this video, which is a huge support for me, by clicking on the arrow in the middle of this video, and that will send in an email form or a copy form to whatever platform your friend or family member will be on. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a wonderful long trip to an international destination or even just to Hawaii. I really appreciate your time, and thanks for all of your support.